So this is what we did when we were working with either the Play-Doh or the online thing where we are cutting either perpendicular or parallel. So remember the welcome work was which, what is the base, okay? So if we're looking at this, this is the base, right? And then there would be another one back here, okay? Is the cut parallel to it, meaning it would never intersect the base, or is it going straight through it? It is going parallel, which means the base is going to be the cross section, okay? So for this one, what is the base? Can't really see it, but it is a rectangle, okay? So is it parallel to it or is it going straight through it? I know it may appear that it's going straight through it, but it's actually parallel. So this is going to be rectangle. This is going to be a rectangle, okay? For the last one, our base is here and here, okay? Our base is our top and our bottom. It's a cylinder, it's the circles. So it is going straight through that, which means it's taking the shape of this part, which is a rectangle as well, okay? Which is a rectangle as well. So here are the formulas for all of the shapes that we've done so far. So I'm gonna give you those, keep those handy, all right? Now we are going to do volume of a square pyramid. So right here I have a square pyramid or a regular pyramid. So this is one third times the base times the height. All that saying is what's the base? The base is the square. So 32 times 32 times the height of 50. And remember, we didn't deal with fractions when we took these notes. We just used it as divided by three. So multiply those numbers straight across. Multiply those numbers straight across and then divide by three. So if I do 32 times 32 times 50, I get 51200 zero, zero, divided by three gives me 1706 six and six hundredths and that is repeating. Okay? So that is and obviously feet cubed. And that's what they're looking for. That is what they're looking for, okay? So for the next one, it is a spear. The next one is a spear. So we are doing the formula four thirds pi r cubed. Do they give us do they give us the radius or the diameter? This right here is what we're looking at. And in that case, it is the radius. So I'm gonna have 24, that's me cubed. I'm gonna have 3.14. And just like our notes, we're not gonna have a fraction. We're gonna do all of our multiplication and then we are gonna divide by three. We are going to have all of our multiplication and then we are gonna divide by three. So 24, cubed is a big old number. And that whole thing is going to be divided by three. That whole thing is gonna be divided by three. So then you're gonna multiply these three numbers together and when you do that, you get 173629. And I want you then to divide that big honk number by three. That gives you a final volume of 5786 and 48 hundredths inches cubed. 